Come see it. It's fantastic. Come ski it. What? Come and experience the magic of marble. The Marble Mountain area is one of the oldest ski areas in North America, yet is perhaps better known as one of the hottest ski resorts in eastern Canada. The magic of marble can be traced back to the early 1930s. But it wasn't until 1959 that the Cornerbrook Ski Club undertook to expand its facilities and initiated the development of Marble Mountain. The site was chosen because of its 430 meter vertical elevation, steepness, north facing slope, accessibility from the Trans-Canada Highway and proximity to the city of Cornerbrook. Today, Marble boasts the best alpine skiing in Eastern Canada and is the center of what will be one of Eastern Canada's largest four season resorts, host to the alpine events at the 1999 Canada Winter Games. A multi-million dollar expansion provides for the addition of a new day lodge, a hotel complex, chalet-style condominiums, shops, and a summit restaurant. The second of three quad lifts has already been constructed, along with four exciting new slopes. Wide, challenging, and sheer skiing excitement from top to bottom. Marble Mountain is approximately 50 kilometers from the Gulf of St. Lawrence in the town of Steadybrook, just 10 kilometers east of the city of Cornerbrook, on the west coast of the Canadian province of Newfoundland. The province is on the 49th parallel at the extreme eastern edge of the North American continent. With a generous natural snowfall of 508 centimeters, Marble has enough snow to provide good skiing from January to late March. However, expanded snowmaking capability will cover the slopes faster and keep them covered, extending the season from mid-December to mid-April. The Marble's 25 runs cover 50 hectares of skiable terrain, all of which are meticulously groomed by four machines 12 hours a day to provide what Nancy Green and Todd Brooker call some of the best groomed slopes east of the Rockies. 10% of the slopes are designed for the novice skier. 50% are classed as intermediate, and the remaining 40% have been designed to challenge the advanced and expert skier. Present hourly lift capacity is 5,800 skiers. Five additional lifts will increase the capacity to 8,600 skiers per hour. The T-bars have a maximum elevation of 61 meters. There are two quad chair lifts. One travels 517 meters to a rise of 145 meters. The second runs for 1,219 meters to a rise of 427 meters. The top elevation is also accessible by a 1,524 meter double chairlift. The trip up is almost as exhilarating as the run down. From the end of the double lift, the skier enters New Chute, an intermediate run of 411 meters. Advanced intermediate skiers may like to turn off onto Tower 16 and face the challenge of this spectacular 314 meter slope. Expert skiers shouldn't miss the thrill of the 472 meter boomerang. The excitement and grandeur of McLeod 9 or Tuckamore, 652 meters of exhilarating skiing and awe-inspiring scenery. Whatever aspect of this magnificent mountain one encounters, there is a feeling of balance between the serenity of nature and man's design. The historic 1,486 square meter base lodge continues to get rave reviews. Friendly, service-oriented employees and concession operators are a joy to encounter. A cafeteria serves platter meals and daily specials. The rustic Double Diamond Lounge provides a warm retreat for Apre ski socializing. The Pro Shop offers a complete selection of top-of-the-line ski equipment from beginner and recreational to high-tech. And snowboarders won't be disappointed either. To ensure a quality ski experience, the Lodge also operates a ski school, offering classes for beginners through to advanced intermediate, 
with certified instructors who are friendly, patient, and available for group or individual instruction. To encourage and develop new skiers, an active ski program has been integrated into the regular curriculum of many of the area's schools. Unlike most other Eastern Canadian ski resorts, Marble Mountain has superb transportation links. The slopes are within several hundred meters of the Trans-Canada Highway, which connects with a modern, year-round auto passenger ferry with daily service to mainland Canada. Stephenville Airport is 80 kilometers to the south. Daily mainland connections are provided by Canadian Airlines International and its regional partner, Air Atlantic. Deer Lake Airport, 50 kilometers east, has daily connections provided by Canadian Airlines, Air Atlantic, and Air Canada and its regional carrier, Air Nova. Both Air Nova and Air Atlantic run extra flights into Deer Lake during the ski season. Accommodations in the area range from small rustic chalets and bed and breakfasts to modern hotels with legendary hospitality and all the amenities you'd expect for a legendary ski holiday. A winter carnival always stirs the fun in a vacationer's soul. For 10 days at the end of February, Cornerbrook throws a party to shake off the post-holiday doldrums. One of the highlights is an appearance by Leaf the Lucky, the carnival's roving ambassador. While skiing is the main attraction, all winter sports are represented. The fun and festivities attract all ages. And the fun is not confined to the snow. Hotels and nightclubs get caught up in the carnival spirit, providing special entertainment. Area restaurants feature a wide variety of traditional Newfoundland and North American cuisine. There's something for everyone, from the spontaneity of a family pizza party to a leisurely lunch or evening meal. In addition to the region's spectacular natural beauty and superb skiing, quaint streets filled with old world charm offer exquisite handcrafts and objects of art. For groups interested in sightseeing, there are scenic drives by bus or car through the beautiful Bay of Islands or the spectacular Humber Valley. The majestic Humber River is within half a kilometer of the base of the mountain. Its breathtaking shoreline is a photographer's paradise. Adventure, beauty, and some of the best skiing in North America. Marble is truly magic capable of putting smiles on the faces of expert skiers, snowboarders, children, and everyone with an appreciation of how special alpine skiing can be. You're really missing something if you don't get out here. 